Hey guys, Tech Timmy here. So today I am happily unboxing, setting up, and reviewing the Astronaut Starry Sky Projector. But wait, how can I do a review if I haven't even taken it out of the box yet? Well, I have one up here that I've had for over a year. Came with this cool remote. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I will show you what they both look like with the, the stars up on the ceiling. So yeah, so I'm gonna switch over to my unboxing rig here, and we're gonna we're gonna take this out of the box, set it up, and then I'll I will give you my honest thoughts on on this guy here. Oh boy, it's Tech Timmy time. All right, so I pulled out my unboxing knife. It looks like I'm not gonna not gonna need it because there's just a tab there. So this is an easy open box. It looks like in terms of the package itself, it looks well done. So this is a nice looking box. Unlike a lot of my other packages that have come in lately, it's not smashed up. So I think that's cool. So star remoter, <laughs> as opposed to remote, timing and multicolor. Okay, fair enough. So let's not belabor the point anymore and get this guy out of the box. So it does look a little bit different. I know it's, I will just say that there's one, two, three little lights at the top. My other one only has one. So maybe, maybe, maybe that's a, maybe this is an upgrade. We'll see. But, so I like the other one so much, I bought a second one. And that, I mean, is probably the essence of my review here. I am going to put this one in my bedroom, believe it or not, to accompany the other one that I already have set up there on my shelf in the living room. And okay, so we're already, uh, well, let's not get out of the bag here for a minute. We'll, we'll use my unboxing knife. Well, no, here. We're just gonna rip into it here. <laughs> These things are a lot of fun. I'm, I'm like a, a, uh, a little kid when it comes to astronauts in outer space. So we have, we're going to do a peel here of the uh, the front of, of the unit. And it's a little bit different looking than the other one that I just showed, isn't it? So, okay, so the hands are opposable in both. But this one has those three lights across the top. I think I like this one better. I don't know if it's just because it's cleaner or what. But, yeah, I will leave links to this guy down below if, if it's on TikTok, it'll be a TikTok shop link. If you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be a link over to Amazon. So very nice. And my one complaint about the last one, and you might have noticed he's got a couple of dings on his head, is that he didn't really stay in the in the uh, the holder very well. I think this one's going to have a sim similar issue. Let's see. Maybe it's, I just had it backwards. I'm going to press him in firmly. No, this one actually, yeah, this goes in nice. So that's gonna that's gonna hold hold up very well in terms of my friend here. So my other one is named Buzz. I wonder what I should call this one. Actually, drop a comment below, and the one that gets the most likes, I will actually name him that. How's that? And so in terms of the rest of the box, okay. So I like the way I really like the clean look of this, and it's a little bit taller than my other one too, which is interesting. But this this is the one for the bedroom, and the other one I'm I'm, I'm leaving right 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 where it is. And so the remote, the remote is actually, it looks identical. And so the remote is identical to the other one. G great. I have no, no issues with that remote whatsoever. It works just fine. And the cord also seems to be identical. So I do, I wonder if maybe they just upgraded this guy from the, from, from the one that I have, which, which I bought before Christmas. I think it was two years ago, actually. So I've had the other one for quite a while and I, I've, run, I've run it consistently every night. And it just, it works like a champ. It works great. And basically, so we have USB, sorry. We have USB, I'm so excited here already. If you can't tell, I'm just gonna move that over because I think I moved that in part of my excitement. So we have USB-A connector and I have my power brick over here. So I'm just gonna plug that in right now. I'm gonna plug that in there. And it's actually daytime here right now, but I will do a demo as part of this video of both of the units. I'll, I'll just wait until tonight and then edit into the video. So that guy just goes right in the back here. Easy enough to do. And um, yeah. And then, so we also have some documentation here, obviously. And okay, in multiple languages, it does have very small type. I have my readers on, thankfully, which is which is which would be mandatory here in this situation. So power switch, it looks like it works the same as the other one too, but this is a nice refresher for me. So short press the power switch to turn on and the stars and mixed color nebula are turned on by default after turning on. So I, you know what? I'm actually gonna grab the other remote real quick right now 
just to see if the, the remote from my other unit works with this one. I bet it does, ready? And it does, indeed. So, old remote works with the works with the new guy here. And so what this does is, you, out of here, you're able to adjust his head, and basically, sorry, I didn't mean to blind you, but I'm not trying to laser you, I promise. And you point this up at the ceiling, and it displays beautiful array of nebula and stars as well. And I will actually cut to a demo of this at night. And then the way the remote works here is so the B is for bright. And it took me a while to figure that out. I really wasn't sure what that was about. So that lets you ad adjust the brightness. B is for brightness and S is for speed. So you control the brightness and the speed, stars on and off, nebula, different colors of the nebula each time you hit that button. So as you can see, it's, it's changing colors on the device right now. But this is just a lot of fun, super inexpensive, would make a great gift for any kid. <laughs> I'm 55 on your, on your shopping list this year for the holidays or whenever. These make great gifts and they're a lot of fun and get hours and hours of use out of them to sort of set that ambience at night. Basically what you're looking at is stars and, and nebula on your ceiling. This is a very inexpensive way to get that. I've tried more expensive star simulator products. I won't name any names, but three, $400, I actually like this better. What I'll do next is I will flash, I will switch over to transition to what this looks like at night up on my ceiling and we'll continue the video from there. Okay, so it's not quite nighttime. As you can see, we've got a little bit of light coming in through the door here, but I closed the blinds and this is just amazing. It looks awesome. And I, the, the, the qual I'm not even show you the other one because the quality of this one is actually a little bit better. And this is the exact model that I will link up using both my Amazon links and my TikTok shop links. I will make sure I get the same exact model here for you guys. And just to kind of hammer the point home with the remote. So there's the Nebula. Here's how you can change, change the colors. I love the blue. I think the blue is my favorite. I'm actually gonna come to the, come to the other side of the room here to kind of show you how, how much coverage this is getting. And you can get more coverage. So you can get more coverage by, by adjusting the, um, the remote doesn't have great range actually. So you wanna be sort of close to the thing when you're trying to uh, control it via the remote. But if you angle the head in different ways, you can get more coverage of it. So now I'm covering my whole ceiling here, as you can see. And then the star, let me just hit the triple, try the star. Oh, yeah, and you wanna, you wanna point the remote, resist the temptation to point the remote at the ceiling. You wanna point the remote, remote at the astronaut for best results. <laughs> so there you go. And then there's what it, what it looks like without the nebula. I love that too, actually. The other one didn't have that. So this is just way better. So no, no need to show you the other one. Um, and then, yeah, so I'm, I'm brightening the stars right now. And this is just, I'm super happy with this. And now I'm wondering if I should move this one to my living room and put the other one in the bedroom. But anyhow, so that is the Astronaut Starry Sky Projector. I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, if you wouldn't mind, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it a lot. And I hope to see you in the next video. And if not, I will see you in outer space. Cheers.